Okay, this is the UPC of the exact card that I'm using. Um, here it is. This is from MSI. As you can see, MSI. Some of this stuff may indicate different board revisions. Uh, here's the UPC. So I hope that helps. Um, obviously, you can pause it here and take a look at that. Uh, there may be different board revisions and stuff. I didn't dig into it that far, uh, honestly. Um, there's probably not that many different versions of the 3GD 05 OC. Um, so I have not pulled a card to look at the board revision. I apologize for that. Um, if somebody does this and it's a problem, let me know in the comments and then I'll, I'll pull mine out and take a look at it. Okay, so this is the bit. We uh, The first thing we're going to do is load Windows and load up the ATI Flash or ATI Wind Flash program that we downloaded so that we can dump a copy of the ROM before we start messing with it. That's going to let you get back to it by using the uh, BIOS switch on the card. There's a 1 and a 2 position. Make sure it's in the 1 position before you run this program. Uh, the 2 position is for recoveries if something goes wrong. And the ROM that we're going to dump in this first step is what we're going to flash back in ROM position 1 after we modify it or if there were a problem, which uh, you probably shouldn't have a problem. And a uh, quick note here, I used uh, a Vista drive that I had from a different computer that I had just upgraded it to an SSD. So I just popped the old Vista drive into my Mac Pro and used that to boot up. The easy way to do that is just put it in a sled and pull all the other boot drives um, and it'll boot up. Or if you wait, you can just wait for it to start the uh, the network boot that it downloads from Apple. It'll boot up and then ask you, or you can go into utilities or wherever and, and select the startup drive to be Vista. That's a bit beyond the scope of this. This is assuming you know how to get to into Windows, like just boot straight up Windows on the Mac Pro. This would probably work under Boot Camp. I just happen to have an old Vista drive laying around. Um, again, if you need help with that, you know, that, that's a little bit beyond the scope of this. This is centered just on flashing the card. Hey, this is not the actual Windows program, but that's really simple to get. You just download it um, and install it under Windows. This is ATI WinFlash. Uh, links in the comments, but it's from uh, techpowerup.com, I think. Anyway, that link will be there to the version that I used, and obviously you may want to grab the latest version. Uh, but here's what you see when you run it. Uh, it says, you know, active here, which Radeon Tahiti is 7950. There's a device ID, so make note of this number. All you need are this is this, 679. The 0x just means this is in hexadecimal. This is not important. Um, not really important. Uh, this is the part number that I used, which is the uh, MSI Twin Frozer OC Edition. That exact part number uh, will be in the links, and I'll also throw up uh, here in a second uh, a shot of the UPC code uh, that shows you exactly what card I used. Uh, none of this stuff is important. Um, I don't think it really any of this is important. So, you know, just hit save save your other one. Uh, quick note here, uh, on your card there's a switch position 1 and 2. You want it to be in switch position 1 for this. All you're going to do is save the ROM and save it out. Um, and then you're going to call that uh, cardname.rom. You'll see that in the next portion of the video that shows the shell commands. So to sum, download ATI WinFlash, run it, save your ROM, cardname.rom. Um, that's the input ROM that we're going to use to uh, tack on the EFI portion so that you get the uh, boot screen on the Mac. And uh, we're going to the next portion of the video now, which is the uh, shell commands. Okay, and for this next step, obviously we're going to boot uh, into OS X for the Mac um, because this next step is the program that basically takes the EFI portion of the ROM and squishes that together with the ROM that you downloaded using ATI WinFlash. Um, so you're gonna, you know, turn off your Mac, 
Uh, you can just pull the Vista boot drive and put the OS X boot drive back in on the sled. Um, and then, you know, make OS X the only available option for the Mac to boot from. And it'll eventually boot or it'll drop into that, you know, install OS X portion. And then you can go to the Apple menu and select the startup drive. Okay, so the first thing we do is we've made our thumb drive and that's just called 7950. We type CD, drag the thumb drive over to it. That gets you into the working volume area. Okay, so now we can see a list of the volumes that are there, or the uh, files that are there. Uh, basically, this is the uh, cardname.rom. This is uh, what we dumped in using ATI WinFlash. So I have over here in this other window, I'm going to copy the command into this window. Uh, and this is uh, the corrected device ID. Um, whatever you saw in ATI WinFlash, that's what this is um, for my particular card. It's 679 Alpha. Um, so we hit Enter. And it goes through and builds the file. There's the file name, it says running, patching, success, success, gives you some data out there, and then that's the completed ROM there, cardname.rom.efi.rom. And then all you do is you go in and use ATI WinFlash to flash that to your card, cardname.rom.efi.rom. Okay, for this last step, we're going to load up the card image that uh, the script made. Obviously, we're back in Windows at this point. That file name is cardname.rom.efi.rom. So just go ahead and load that image and program it. Um, and then the program will shut down your computer again. You can pull out the uh, Vista drive, uh, reboot from the Mac. Uh, you should at this point be seeing your Mac boot screen, so that should make life a whole lot easier. Hope this helps. Subscribe to our YouTube feed and uh, use that Amazon link. Uh, I spent a good bit of time and money on this, uh, figuring all this out, and I, I think I've spelled it out in the simplest terms. Um, so, you know, help me out. Use that Amazon link to make your purchase. Um, bookmark it, amazon.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any problems, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and help you out.